New World Order. The U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee has passed a resolution accusing the Syrian government, Russia, and Iran of war crimes and calling for an international tribunal on Syria. The move comes amid a breakthrough U.S.-Russia deal on a Syrian ceasefire. The document passed on Wednesday claims that the government of Syrian President Bashar Assad is guilty of widespread torture and rape and its forces massacred civilians, including through the use of chemical weapons, which has already been disproven that that was ISIS that did that, cluster munitions, and barrel bombs. Moscow is accused of violations of international law by leading deliberate bombing campaigns on civilian targets, including bakeries, hospitals, markets, and schools. The resolution introduced by Republican Chris Smith, a neocon, so there you have it, that's why they're doing this, because there was a ceasefire, and the neocons are bloodthirsty warmongers, because they're the Trotskyite wing of the Communist Party. The Democrats are the Stalinists. So there's no good guy here anymore. It's good cop, bad cop, and two wings of the same bird, which is the Communist system. Through stealth, they're bringing about world communism with this left-right paradigm that everybody's falling for. And co-sponsored by two other senators, this resolution was, and it reads that vast majority of the civilians who have died in the Syrian conflict have been killed by the government of Syria and its allies, specifically the Russian Federation, the Islamic Republic of Iran, and Iran's terrorist proxies, including Hezbollah. And remember Ezekiel 38, you have Persia, which is Iran mentioned there, as well as Gog, which is a title of the leader of Edom, which is Russia. Red Square Moscow is the headquarters of this worldwide communist takeover by stealth. And they're still communistic, Russia is, so don't think there's a good guy and a bad guy. This isn't football, and you're not rooting for one team or another. It's all been taken over by the Kenites through their four hidden dynasties of education, economics, politics, and religion. The four centers of power, if I had to name them, would be in New York City, where the UN building is, and Wall Street, where they funded the Bolshevik Revolution in the first place from Wall Street. There's a whole book about it. You can look into that for yourself. And then you have Red Square, Moscow. Then you have Jerusalem, Israel, Tel Aviv, the Knesset, that area, that geographical location, as well as Geneva, Switzerland, the other headquarters of the UN. Committee Chairman Ed Roy supported the bill, saying that Russian airstrikes against the Islamic State are ineffective, claiming that Russian attacks have actually done more to help ISIS than to hurt it. And that's just not true. Again, I'm not on one side or the other here. It's the formulation of a one-world system, and all the nations will be involved in that one-world political system, as we know from Daniel chapter 7. You have the lion, symbolic of the Christian nations. The scepter of Judah reigns over the tribes scattered, and those grafted into Christianity, the Christian nations there. And then you have the bear, and that's the communistic as well as the non-Christian Islamic nations, the bear, and that's why Russia collaborates with Iran so much, as well as China, who are communistic, created by the Soviets. And the Soviet Union didn't really fall. That was a hoax to bring about this takeover by stealth. I have to remind you that the one world political system described in Revelation 13 has feet like the feet of a bear two feet, okay? And that's that left-right paradigm. Don't fall for it. However, not all committee members welcome the resolution. Congressman Dana Rohrabacher said that the adoption of the text will be counterproductive to U.S. and Russian effort to fight ISIS, militants, and other extremists in Syria, and so on and so forth. You can read that for yourself. In a related story, also from Russian television, the Moscow beheading nanny was a mental patient, says she killed child in revenge for Syria airstrikes. What a coincidence that this would happen on the same week as this resolution brought about by the neocons, the Trotskyite wing of the Communist Party. And the Trotskyites and the Stalinists are in a battle to the death to outdo the other. But what is the goal of both of them? World communism. So whoever comes out on top, 
the Kenites get their way, a one-world political system that will emerge at the beginning of a five-month period whenever Satan and his angels are cast out of heaven unto the earth, because in Daniel 7 you have the lion, the bear, and then the leopard, which is the infrastructure, the Kenites, and then Daniel's fourth beast. That's not here yet. That's not here until Satan and his angels are cast out of heaven unto the earth, because that one world political system has ten horns, and they reign one hour with the beast, the hour of temptation. After that one world political system receives a deadly wound, Satan appears as Antichrist and heals the wound, as it's written in Revelation 13, and then it becomes a one world religious system. And after that five month period, and only after that five month period, the true Christ will return. Just wait. Watch and learn. 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 Mark13Records.com, Mark13News.com, BiblicalResearchLabs.com, The Last Radio Station.com, The Apocalypse Post Newsletter, and M13 TV. It's all assembled and distributed from our base of operations, the Mark13Records.com Mobile Command Unit. If we have helped you, and only if we have helped you, help us to help others by visiting our new Patreon page and joining the fight by taking part in spreading God's Word throughout a world of darkness. For a limited time, for any amount donation, you can request one of our custom-made study guides while supplies last. 666, the New World Order and the Antichrist, the Seven Seals of the Apocalypse, the Daniel 11 Hypothesis, or the Beginning of the End. Now more than ever, we need to sound that trumpet and warn the deceived masses of the coming hour of temptation, that five-month period in which Satan will appear as Antichrist. And as Christ said in the last verse of Mark chapter 13, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch.